All right, listen. Listen, why am I a kid? Why am I small? Okay, L let me change my avatar size back to normal. And today, hit the like button, subscribe, and double post notifications. Ring the bell, make it a good thing if you <laughs> have it already. And today, we're going to be going over the game passes in Brookhaven, giving away some game passes because, you know, sometimes we do giveaways on the channel. We give away 100,000 Robux live from live stream. We don't do that. But, um, yeah, dude. Uh, yeah. Anyways, guys. Yeah, we're giving, we really are giving away uh, game passes and Robux in this video. So, uh, that's something to stick around for. Giveaway time, giveaway time, dude. This is this is great. This is great. So, um, yeah, and, and this is 100% real, guys. We're going to be giving away codes, okay? Stop the cap. It, it's not. It, it's real, okay? I promise. So, that be the case, guys. Brookhaven has a lot of game passes, okay? A lot. We got faces, penthouse, uh, on-demand fire. <laughs> what? Dude, what? who uses this game pass, okay? Houses, fires with no weight, turn on and off whenever you want. You don't need to buy this if you're purchasing the disaster pack. Okay, so that's essential, guys. Do not buy this if you are purchasing the disaster pass. So, yeah, the on-demand fire, guys, I, I, I'm going to kind of be ranking these game passes a little bit in this video, too, because I feel like it's an essential thing to do. So, yeah, dude, uh... Let's actually rank these because like I'm telling you some of them don't even make sense dude Some of them some of them don't make sense at all. So let me go see if I can find Yep, 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 yep. Okay on the fire on the map. Okay, so right here. Okay guys once all right now This is in another language probably Spanish and but I do know this means the best game pass So yeah, the red is obviously gonna signify the number one best of the game passes We're gonna go rank these real quick just to give you guys a synopsis because you guys are gonna be getting the robux, right? You're gonna be buying your game passes um, You're gonna need to know what is the best game pass to buy and which ones just don't make sense And right away guys as we was talking about the fire one is not worth buying especially with the disaster pack now I don't really recommend that uh, Premium is gonna be your goal to if you get the premium, you can get the Lamborghini, you can get tons of cars, houses. I mean, the premium just gives you features like you normally would not have. So, if you're going to spend Robux on Brookhaven, premium is definitely one of the better game passes to get. The music, I'm also going to put down uh, on the lower tier because, one, I don't ever use it. Honestly, I put this down at the very bottom because I never have used... Now, the on-demand fire, I have used before, but I've never really used the music at all in Brookhaven, so it's going on the bottom for me. Uh, Penthouse, pretty good. In between middle because you get the penthouses uh, for the apartments kind of good but also not an essential game pass to own honestly it's not really essential to own this game pass the vehicle upgrade is top tier and the speed is top tier as well now you probably get one of the other if you have one of these we'll have to check in game but these are very good we're gonna put these right here actually not on the best of the best but definitely put them up there the estate is essential dude you can get hotels jets like honestly this might have to be almost taking the top uh, that's the disaster pack, not the estate. Whoops. Okay, estates are here. So I'm I'm probably going to put the estates on the top just because you can get a jet. And, but the only problem is to get the jet, I think you also need premium. So these two kind of go together. Like if you get the disaster pack, you can get a jet, but you also need premium to get unlock the jet. I don't know why it's like that, but this is, the disaster pack itself is going to go uh, in the mid tier because one... It, it, it's about as good as it, you could do a lot of things with the disaster pack, but you know, it's kind of like that face pack well, Honestly, this is gonna go at the bottom too. And the reason you can now use the avatar editor catalog You don't really need the faces the horse is kind of cool. We'll put it there. It allows you to customize your horse It's not really essential not needed uh, Unlocking extra land is not really needed or essential either uh, vehicle pack is going to unlock some vehicles like I said it kind of falls in that category and the theme pack is going to be down here The reason for that is you guys know I love the theme pack I think it's amazing, but I just never use the theme pack because we're not getting new themes The themes have not been updated in Brookhaven since we got the theme pack update So I would fingers crossed like to see a new theme soon And then maybe if there's a new theme it can go up to mid-tier or if there's a lot of themes We can finally get it up to there, but right now you can only use themes in your private server so yeah, that's that's a bit of a thing too and other players can't see the themes on their devices I don't think so yeah, there's a lot of tricky things about the themes This is why honestly I, I, I wouldn't recommend a lot of new player if you're a new player This definitely would be down here It's not really essential or not something you should really think about purchasing But if you're kind of playing a little bit you want some cool things on your private server then yeah, maybe maybe but premium estate Let's get back to the game 
now we're back at the game. Obviously, I think that covered most of them, but okay, here's the vehicle pack. Vehicle color access to all owned vehicles, speed upgrade to 70 miles per hour on owned street vehicles and small vehicles. So yeah, the vehicle pack is great for customization on your vehicle. However, I don't know if this is really essential. The speed though, max speed of 200 on all street owned vehicles and 45 on small also includes turbo charges, turbos. So honestly, okay, I'm gonna go and say this. Maybe the speed is better than the vehicle game pass, okay? I'm gonna say that maybe the speed is better than the vehicle game pass And the reason for that is you can get the max 200 speed you can get turbo chargers like that's kind of cool But with the vehicle game pass you can upgrade and change your colors So yeah, other than that other than the ability to be able to change the color not really essential So maybe I would recommend the speed game pass over the vehicle but first and foremost is going to be premium because you get access to star houses, star vehicles, helicopter, house pool, all kinds of stuff, dude. And a vehicle, oh wait, exclusive, vehicle upgrade included, vehicle cost. Okay, actually guys, if you get premium, you get the vehicle game pass already. I didn't even know that. Is that new? That might be new. I don't even know. I didn't even know that. So yeah, if you get premium, you're going to get the vehicle upgrade anyways. That's nice, dude. That's nice. So that's like two game passes in one. Dude, you can't really beat premium. I think premium is going to be the key. I think it's really going to be the key here. Um, all right, let's change the time. Uh, that is stuck on there. Okay, so, um, yeah, I don't think you're going to really beat that. So, we have decided that premium and estate are kind of the cool ones. Because, guys, five mansions, prison, hotel, military base with the jet. I mean, honestly, dude, yeah, these kind of seem like they're taking the throne as being the best estate and premium now of course we got the boat pack that was not in the uh, the tier list that we were looking at the boat pass where would i rank that well if you like boats and you like ocean in brookhaven you want the pirate ship all that stuff um then the boat pack might be good for you uh, but still i would put that kind of on mid tier it's not really essential for new players to get the boats i feel like and i feel like new players are not really going to be aiming to try out the boats in brookhaven so yeah on the boats i would put mid tier on that on the tier list if we're going on the ranking okay so yeah that's kind of like the the breakdown of the game passes if you're thinking about buying them now you're probably like okay let's get the robux let's get the robux right you you, you yeah enough lollygagging let's get to the robux so the first robux code is here and there is the first robux code in the video pretty nice right so um now if we go up here let's actually go to um one of the estates Let's go to one of the estates and spawn in the military base, which you will get with the estate game pass. And let's go just prove. I, I just want to make sure you do need premium for the jet because people might be wondering. So, um, yeah, let's go over here. And I believe the jet will be here. However, you might still need. Yep. For the jet, you still need premium. But once you get premium and the estate game pass, which are the two best ones, in my opinion, you can get this jet, which is the coolest thing in Brookhaven, honestly. It's one of the first flyable, like, airplane type things we have in Brookhaven because you guys got to understand previously, all we had was, like, um, the helicopters, and now we got the jets. And I think the reason why the jets work so well is because, like, jets can kind of stay stationary, and it kind of still makes sense. You know, a jet can kind of stay, like, just in one spot. Um, depending on the jet and airplanes can't really do that. So I don't know how Wolfpack would add airplanes You can also go up to 200 speed with the jet too and it just is so fast There's also different color customizations on your jet. So you really have different variations there So yeah, that's kind of the cool thing about the jet and it's probably the quickest if not the quickest uh, Way to get around in Brookhaven dude. You can get anywhere in Brookhaven in a split of a second with this jet So yeah, dude kind of a win in my opinion kind of a win. So yeah, I, I definitely would say that but with that aside Let's get to another code Boom, we got two codes in this video of some Robux so you guys can go purchase some game passes um, We do this from time to time we do and it's pretty cool So that be the case on top of that guys what I thought I would do is also just showcase to you guys more in depth about some of the other game passes as well so you can have your own judgment on that and you can totally decide fully like oh this game pass really fits my play style i like this game pass so we're also going to be going over a lot of the different variations of the game passes that have released over the years uh, or over the months even and uh, showcase them to you guys uh over the course of time from our backlog there so yeah with that aside though let's get on to looking at some of these game passes and let's do it <laughs> Ooh, 
these are not expensive at all. But uh, yeah, some Roblox games, dude, they are pricey. Okay, and what for? But yeah, that'd be the case. Um, yeah, it's not super expensive Game Pass is what I'm saying. For 300 Robux, you're going to be able to get the boat pack, and it's going to include eight new boats on top of the five that's already freely into the game and available for everybody to use. So that'd be the case. Uh, I wanted to show you guys all the boats, all their features, and everything that they include. So you know ahead of time if this seems like something you would like to have. Me personally, guys, I think since the boat pass is permanent and that you're going to get all the other future boats that are going to be introduced exclusively, such as the pirate ship or something, um, then this is a no-brainer. I mean, this is only going to get better with the future updates that are going to be coming into the next year in 2024. I think Wolfpack is going to kickstart us off in 2024 with some insane stuff increasing with this boat game pass. So I think it's a win-win if you buy the boat game Game pass you're only going to get good stuff down the line as well um so like i said the pass is permanent right so whenever new boats get added to the boat game pass you're already going to have those be able to show off to your friends and already be one step ahead so yeah buy it now is what i'm saying but uh either way though there might still be some people that are deciding if they you know i might want to spend my robux somewhere else or on this item or something of that sort is it really truly worth it so this is what this video is for to showcase to you guys all the boats all the secret features on the boats and what the boats can do and some of the little hidden easter eggs on the boat so that be the case <laughs> let's dive into it okay um so yeah now we're gonna go here and we're gonna spawn the first one which is one of the jet skis this is a jet ski more designed for speed meanness and just like listen to this thing dude i don't know if you can hear that but it sounded real nice to me so uh you can obviously fully customize these but one feature that i see a lot of people overlook is the ability to be able to add turbo to any of your boats now you can also change the drift setting if that ever so pleases you but the turbo is really cool so like i said if you want to play around with the drifting you can also do that that gives you uh, that i think i just slowed down the drifting so let's see what happens if i go all the way down to zero yeah, I can just spin in donuts immensely. This is a great Santa Claus is having the time of his life. Um, so yeah, that be the case. You can do that. You can adjust these, edit them however you like or please. And you can still add turbo. So keep that in mind. This is pretty cool. Max speed 200, of course. If for some reason you're looking at this and you're like, I don't have turbo. I don't have max speed. What's going on? Why don't I have my max speed to 200? That could be because you don't have the speed thing, which is a max speed of 200 on all own street vehicles. Now, these are not street vehicles, but it still applies. So it also includes equipable turbo chargers stage one, two, and three for faster acceleration. Turbos are available on uh, are available on all own turbo equipped vehicles. So that's why you might not have turbo or you might not have speed. So do keep that in mind. If you're wondering why I don't have 200 speed or anything like that, it's because you also need the speed game pass, which I guess that would mean you need two game passes if you want to get your full like fun value. But either way. So yeah, this is the first um, jet ski. Yep. Okay. Well, my mind went blank that for a second. And then we got a blue one, which is more of kind of like a bulky one, but a different variation. And uh, it's just cool. You know, it's designed slightly different. It almost looks like a whale dolphin thing or something. Killer whale or something. I don't know. But uh, yeah, you can also change the color on these, of course, however you please. There's also the premium setting, which if you want to shoot some fire out of your jet ski or some smoke, you want to make it smoky, you should be able to do that as well. So yeah, these tire things, they don't do nothing. They don't mean anything. At first, when I was on the police thing, I was like, oh my God, the tires mean that I can actually go on land and off land. And I thought that was going to be one of the coolest features ever, but that was not the case. So yeah, um, moving on though, we got this amazing gigantic sailboat. Okay, guys, this one is insane. I would say this is probably the biggest boat, uh, especially the biggest height wise. For the time being, I think there's going to be some crazier boats coming down the line, which, you know, we'll talk about those later on. But uh, I think there's going to be some amazing boats that are going to absolutely blow everyone's mind. So, guys, make sure you keep it up with Brookhaven, okay, or the channel, because we keep you updated with Brookhaven. So, yeah, that's another one of the amazing boats. We're getting to that one later. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Um, but, yeah, so this is cool, too. Also, you can, you can believe it or not... Um, you, believe it or not, guys, you can actually put turbo charge on this as well. Um, so yeah, you can put turbo stage three on all the boats, dude, even the sailboat. I know it's kind of crazy, right? So yeah, that's the possibility of that. This one's pretty nice in my opinion. I like it a lot. So uh, now we can go over to the other speedboat. So this is the other speedboat, not the free one. And you have three different expansions you can do for your friends to have an absolute blast. Um, now the, the free one only has one of these, but uh, with this one, you get three. So yeah, you get three little floaty things that you can kind of 
have the time of your life on there. But yeah, so that's the speedboat. You can pull this around and have an absolute blast. Do not forget, you can also hit the jumps on the islands that are designed there. Um, so we could just do that. Ooh, it's so smooth, so great. So it's actually getting nighttime. Oh my God, dude, it's getting dark in here. Um, all right, so that be the case, that speedboat is pretty amazing in my opinion. So now if we go over here, we got the banana boat, the hydroplane, the super fast one. Um, yeah, so I didn't know what this was at first till you guys on stream kind of informed me what it was. I think it's a hydroplane or what it's called or something. It's a super fast, unbelievably fast uh, um boat so yeah also this thing right here guys is not a secret button it is the light okay it is the light on the vehicle it's not a secret button or anything uh, but yeah you can also change the color of this thing however you like it's fully color customizable i mean you can get all kinds of crazy like alien ufo dude this kind of looks like the top of a ufo or something honestly if you make it green but um yeah so you have this thing as well, which is super cool. There's no other things you can activate on this boat specifically, but like I said, it's just a cool one. Um, and like, I'm just right against the edge here. Oh, oh, boats only spawn beyond this point. So yeah, I, that, that was something that people were telling me. They were like, I wish you could spawn boats are available uh, with more on the way. Pass is permanent. So good thing is if you buy this pass once, you're going to have it forever. So honestly, it's not a bad investment, guys, because Wolfpack is going to be adding more estates in the future. He's going to be adding more huge RP sets, houses, and everything that blows your imagination in the future. So right now, we're getting three amazing ones. You can go ahead and buy this, play that now, and have all the amazing features that come alongside these amazing mansions, and you get access to the estate lots, which you can just flex on your friends about. Like, I think it's pretty cool, actually. So yeah, this is a really cool addition. How much Robux does this cost? This costs 800 Robux. I know what you're thinking already. Hey, I'm out, dude. There's no way. <laughs> but guys, you get a lot. And you get the pass going all the way forward into the future as well. Meaning whenever he adds three more estates, you're going to already have them if you purchase the pass. So it was a no-brainer to me. 800 Robux is a lot, but I play Brookhaven every single day. And I'm about to go into if I think it's worth it at the end. But right away, here's the first mention you're going to receive. It is glorious. It is modern. It is everything that you could ask for in a sleek design. This house is fantastic. So, um let's go ahead and start with the basement to give you guys a full 100% rundown um so yeah let's not uh, we got the massive 96 inch tvs i would say dude they're pretty big i ain't gonna lie but if we go down here we have the massive indoor garage that you could pull all of your garage like uh, every fancy car that you have dude you could pull it in here there's even a car showcase mat right over here in the corner dude and if you want to just kind of stare around I, I actually don't know what this area here for is this is kind of like an awkward area to be honest but maybe you can park a car over there too and then pull it on the showcase or whatever right you can have a full mechanic paradise down here dude you can do all kinds of stuff right next to it is connected a wonderful gym i personally would suggest just going to rosie's gym it's a lot more better than this one you got more equipment better uh better overall vibes you know i'm just, I, i'm not biased i promise it's not like my cat rosie sits on my shoulder here go to rosie's gym it's per anyway so yeah that's pretty cool you can walk right outside and you can head on up to the level floor here we have bedrooms on bedrooms um, these bedrooms are going to accommodate your guests or your family members whenever they come over it's pretty nice we have a massive kitchen plenty of counter space for any type of additional coffee maker or if you want to uh cook to your your heart's content you know you can have space for your cutting boards and everything to store i think it's great we also got a fridge here you want to look in the fridge what's in my fridge i got waffles ice cream milk hershey's pizza coca-cola gatorade and reese's i'm healthy thank you thank you very much you don't get rich being uh, not healthy well, I mean, what? I mean, get being healthy. Um, but yeah, anyways, we have our cozy fireplace here. It's pretty nice, dude, on the second floor. Surprisingly, you cannot jump in this fireplace. I know, I'm very crazy. Uh, but uh, yeah, we have a bedroom here. Or oh, no, that's a bathroom. I don't think I want to sleep in the bathroom. Um, then we have kind of like a master style uh, little uh, bedroom that connects all the way here. You can poop here. You're not a lot of privacy, though, so make sure you cover yourself up with a little bath towel uh, while you're uh, roaming through here, dude. I actually guess you could just... Oh. You could j no even still because this oh it's a whole window dude it's a whole window you just the bathroom's just open to the world dude it's just open to the world oh yeah there's also a bar out here on the patio forgot to mention that there's a lot of cool features in this one guys but that's not obviously all of the all of them right so let's go ahead and spawn in a brand new one another one another one that you get with this amazing awesome new estates game pass so if we come down here we're gonna go spawn in the other home 
One, two, three. Yes, that's right. And guys, these estates are cool. It obviously redid the Brookhaven map a lot. I wasn't expecting uh, Wolfpack to really go to the length of changing too much in the Brookhaven actual map, but he seems to be really open to the idea of doing that. And throughout the course of the history of updates, we're seeing a lot of cool additions and things that we normally wouldn't uh, see. And that's quite surprising, I, I will say. So yeah, we got a two-car garage here as well. Open up. It's pretty plain in there, though. Um, nothing too much going on. But right here is the selling point of this mansion estate. Right here, you got a hammock. Dude, what house in Brookhaven has a hammock? Oh, wait. None of them. So, this is pretty cool, dude. And then you got your little pond that you can take a, a, a little swim in. You can get some sunbathing on here, you know, if you want to tan yourself a little bit. Tan and fun and frenzy for you. Um. All right, so let's go ahead and head in here. This is the master bedroom where you have all of your amazing amenities. Uh, you can uh, just kind of like, you know, do what you need to do. Uh, it's pretty cool. Eat some pizza and throw your, your trash into the... The, the sink, I guess. I don't know. Whatever people like to do. Uh, this is the walk-in closet. Uh, of course, we got another room right here. Oh, nope. That's actually the garage. Um, so, yeah. This is pretty cool, too. It's more of a cozy setting, I would say. More of a cozy estate. Very nice. What does this button do? Oh, my God, dude. Look at that. I didn't even know it did that, dude. I have See, I haven't even learned everything about the... Oh, I'm on fire now, dude. I'm too hot for it. Um, all right. So, yeah, we got these little seats here if we want to sit. Dude, this is just cool. It's a great. It's great all around. What do we have here? Oh, oh yeah, guys. This place comes with a sauna. Oh, the sauna is on, dude. The sauna is on. That's so cool, guys. So, there, yeah, that comes with a, a sauna, dude. I think any house that comes with a sauna is top tier. All right. I like this, dude. You also got the jacuzzi and everything back here. Um, dude, it's just an all-around amazing estate. It has everything that you could want, right? So, let's go ahead and go down and spawn the other one, which isn't a mansion. It isn't a home. It's an RP set. Now, how can you distinguish RP sets away from the other stuff in Brookhaven? They have a red circle around them. You see this little red mark around it? That means it is an RP set. And what an RP set means, it's enabled for more role-playing options and opportunity. So, if we spawn this one in, we will see that it clearly is a prison, a correctional facility, and this obviously aids in creating new amazing prison roleplay, um, jail, cops versus robbers. Like, this creates a whole new dynamic like we've never seen in the roleplaying field. This prison is full of secrets that you can never even possibly imagine. I'll try to be going over those in the next few days or so. There's just so many secrets. It is so exciting. And wow, restricted area authorization only. Well, dude, I'm going right in. Um, but yeah, so there's also like so much stuff in this prison, guys. You can overlook. Like, it's, it's very intricate. So, uh, for example, if we go over here and we go in here we can actually get to the basketball court and the little workout gym here uh, it actually is a courtyard dude i thought it was enclosed i was telling everybody it was just like an enclosed area but obviously the guard guards can be up there up top right with their little stun guns and whatever they need they can be monitoring everything from above uh, you can also change the color of these uh, this around too you can change the color of these Pretty cool, the little rails and stuff. I don't know. I'm just change the lime green, dude. Um, you got all kinds of prison cells. You even got a library in case you're uh, a prisoner that likes to do a lot of reading. Uh, you got your kitchen down here and a lot of other stuff, guys. I'm going to have to make a whole video probably going in depth about the prison because there's so many little features here, there, and everywhere and in between. And it's just absolutely crazy, dude. It's a wonderful place. But either way, um, that's the estate game pass. Do okay. I think it's worth that pass? So. That's pretty darn cool. Let's look over this. And I don't know about all of you, but there's a few things that really stick out to me on this, and that is, of course, alien, ghost, and zombie. I never thought we would see those three things in Brookhaven at once, let alone ever, just for one of them. So it's kind of crazy, right? So whenever you do buy this, it's going to cost 500 Robux. That's a bit pricey, I ain't going to lie. It's just a, little bit, just a little bit pricey. You know, what can you do about it? So let's go to Bacon Lot 11 and let's pick a house. Let's pick any house. Uh, if you're going for more of a ghost haunted theme, maybe you want to use the haunted house that we have here. That would be too spooky. Unbelievably spooky, if I say so. Um, so yeah, if we scroll down here, though, let's... Should we try the rocket house? I, 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 let's do it, man. How is the rocket house going to compare and tie in with these themes? Because, guys, I've never tried this one personally, so why not try it with you guys since we're looking at this pack here? Uh, remember, this works for all the houses, right? So, I don't know. Yep, let's try it out. Let's go on in here, press this, and where is our stuff? Yep, it works. I wonder how this is. Okay, so this is interesting. We're going to put the alien here. And the reason why the alien one is interesting for this alone is because guys remember there is a way to break an alien out into your place let's go up to the top and let's go ahead and allow the alien to break out oh my god dude the alien is already here okay what's it called what's it called hole breach 
Oh my god, dude. Then if we go out, there is literally a UFO alien right above our rocket ship. And then, if you do the hull breach, the alien will be loose into your ship here, guys. Look at the handprint. So much alien stuff is popping up in Brookhaven. I don't even know what to do. I don't even know if I'm safe. This is very, very dangerous. Look at that. He broke out. He's caught his ship. No, dude. No. <laughs> now, funny enough, about this alien spaceship, it's actually the alien spaceship we get to drive in the Halloween event. Pretty cool, right? I think so. Anyways, let's go in here, and then let's turn that off here. Oh, oh. That's not good. That's not good, dude. No, 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 no. No, no. I messed up, man. I messed up. How do I get this off? <laughs> no, dude. I messed up. I don't know how to get this off now, man. I zoomed in. Uh, we're going to have to reset our character. Oh, my God, dude. I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. All right. Let's just get out of here. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Whoa, Jesus, man. Let's not do that again, right? All right. Anyways, I put lightning on there accidentally. <laughs> I wanted to walk you guys through and show you all the themes. This house isn't really good for demonstrating the themes properly, so let's go actually get a better house. I just wanted to know what would happen if we did do that, right? All right, let's get your typical normal house here. I wonder what happens if we turn on the lightning to the house that has the energy crystals up top in the attic. You guys remember? I think it's this house, actually. Um, Yeah, check this out. Let's go up here in the attic, guys. I don't know if you guys remember the attic of this house. What if we have a, activate the lightning for this house? Would it kind of increase the power or something today i don't know dude that sounds interesting I'm, I'm already trying to myth bust here let's turn on the lightning here and guys the cool thing about lightning it will show the lightning striking from outside your home as well and if you combine this with like the lightning the blackout the ghost you're gonna be in for a terrifying event of your life you can really create the most at oh there it is okay let's go see if it has affected the the energy crystals in the attic at all that's a super interesting theory, guys. Super interesting theory. All right. Come on, dude. What the? Dude? Let me up there. Ooh, it's not doing nothing. Okay, okay. So that's the lightning one. That's the lightning one. Let's look for another one. I know you guys are like, I don't know. Okay, so let's turn that off. Now let's press bugs. Now if you have a phobia for bugs, you might want to be careful watching this next clip because the bugs are going to start swarming at intense velocity and it gets worse and worse. As time goes on, dude, I feel like there's bugs all over my screen. Get off it, dude. I gotta like it. They're crawling all over me. Uh, you know, that's uh, <laughs> that's me not liking bugs. Oh, dude, and it makes a little swarming sound. Holy moly, dude. I don't know about that, dude. Oh, uh, this is a prank you can play on your friends that don't like bugs. Definitely, dude. Now, the invasion, you're gonna hear gunshots from every direction coming right at you. Um, so be careful with this. Oh, Jesus. Get down. Get down. <laughs> Did I already hear the gunshots? No, no. Crawl, crawl, crawl. Oh my god, dude. Okay, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. So that's all I know of the invasion one right now. There's like gunshots and stuff. Very scary. Fire and flood is going to obviously cause immense fire to your house. That's why you don't need the fire on demand game pass anymore. Oh, anyways, yeah. So it's just taking a moment there and now it's there full fire. Um, definitely not good, guys. Let's activate the flood to kind of cool everything off a little bit. We want to make sure we go. Oh, now I'm just climbing into the water. Not safe, not safe at all. I don't want to drown. So, yeah, we got the water uh, as well, which is absolutely insane. And it's weird because the water doesn't leak out of the house. It just stays in here. It's kind of interesting. So, yeah, you can use that as well. Um, now let's go on to the gas leak, which will just be, uh, as it entails, a gas leak. Um, very dangerous, but uh, if your stove or anything happens to break, boom, this is going to go through the house. So you might need to call the mechanic and get someone out there uh, to really fix up your house fast. Now, this is the one that I'm not looking forward to. That's probably going to terrify me to the largest extent, and that is the ghost one. Yeah, not looking forward to that one at all. Uh, probably going to get <laughs> immensely scared because I'm never, I don't, okay, here's the thing about the ghost one. The ghost spawns in different locations in every house. So... I don't really know the spawn of the goat. Did you guys hear that? Oh! Turn it off, 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 turn it off. That's why I don't like that one. I don't like that one. All right. Wow. That was, that was horrible. All right. So imagine... If you combine that one with the blackout, I'm, I'm really scared, so I'm not going to show that one too long. Um, but yeah, okay, let's lighten it up a little bit. Okay, earthquake. So the earthquake is going to cause your whole house to tremble in an immense fashion that you would never expect. It's very dangerous, and... Wait, where's it? 
Oh, there it is. Okay, not good, not good. <laughs> I was like, wait, is there an earthquake? Dude, this is actually crazy. I wonder what happens if we step out of our house. Okay, it's fine. Oh, it stopped. Okay. We're good. So apparently it just kind of creates a little bit of an earthquake. Earthquakes are not to be played with, guys. Natural disasters I do not mess with. But on the topic of natural disasters, here are the winds, which create a tornado around your house. And I don't play with fast winds. I don't play with earthquakes, fast winds. You know, I try to respect nature so it respects me, man. That sometimes it just terrorizes everyone. Um, all right. <laughs> so, yeah, we got that a little tornado effect. And then if we go over here, uh, we can turn that off and then do the solar flare, which is going to just, like, dude, it's going to bright up your whole house it's going to be intense dude holy moly holy moly now you can imagine if you combine all of these you're gonna have the most intense looking thing ever now for this next one here's what i'm going to suggest you guys do you go get your best weapon whatever weapon you're comfortable with for me it's probably going to be a shotgun if there's one zombie killing weapon that's out there that exists it is no other than the shotgun we want the best shotgun that we can possibly get so we're going to get this one right here which is the only one that you can possibly get <laughs> in brook gaming because they don't make many shotguns in this game so um let's go ahead and activate the zombies and now they're going to start flooding my house all around my house and we're gonna have to do everything we can to defend it so oh there he is so you can defend off zombies on your house from all around your house 